What's up YouTube? Um, this one is going to be the final how-to on the can koozie and we're going to finish up your pouches today. So first of all I'd also just like to say thanks to Storm Drain. I, I mean I really appreciate you stopping by and watching and leaving such encouraging positive comments for all of us. I, I just couldn't have been more flattered. It really really made my day but Guys, go check out Storm Drain's blog, sub to his YouTube channel. I mean, he, he's a true paracord Jedi, guys. So this is um, going to be the final. And uh, one thing I didn't mention is you can keep all your extra cordage in these Gatorade jigs, which is nice. And uh, I've got an extra piece there for the end I'll show you in a minute. But basically, you've gone around and you've lined up all your lines. You've gotten them as close together as you can. And um, you're ready to do the bottom. You've gone around and done your half hitching. And I said I'd meet you back in the middle. And as you go around the outside and work your way in, everything really tightens up. So uh, you can see what you're working with there. But I'm just going to continue to half hitch. Pull that twist. And that hole in the center is going to close, continuing to keep the koozie pushed down to keep the bottom flat. And I think I mentioned before, um, if you're truly going to use this as a koozie, you don't need the bottom to be uh, completely closed off. Those gaps and holes don't really matter um, as much. So you don't have to do this step if you're not going to use it as a pouch. But uh, we've almost closed the center hole off there. Just going to continue half hitching around. Got a lot of glare on my viewfinder. I hope you guys are getting a good view. I'm going to go through one more time and that ought to close the center pretty well and we'll still be able to uh, fix it if it doesn't. Sorry guys. Alright, now at this point the hole in the center is almost gone and you're really ready to take it off. You've got a koozie. You've got a pouch. You've got a koozie. All right. Now, you could uh, you could really finish right there if you wanted to, like I said, or you can make this as detailed as you want as far as closing in those holes. And what I like to do, I'm going to go right back down through the center again. And I'm pulling that through the inside of the pouch. And now I'm going to start on the outside. And I'm going to work my way around these holes, filling in those gaps as we go. Okay? So you can really start wherever, but you're going to come through the outside. And uh, consistency is again going to be the key here. I'm going to go uh, clockwise and I'm going to go under and then over, alternating around the outside. And this is going to help close those holes up. Just keep everything nice and lined up, but I'm going to go under the next hole and then out and you can see this is going to start closing all those holes and covering uh, covering up those holes so that if you are going to use this as a pouch 
you're going to be good to go. So again, under the next one and out through the top. And this part doesn't have to be pulled super tight. You just want it to be um, flush and somewhat tight. Okay. See how that's closing in around? And that'll start to look better and better as we go. The less gaps and holes you have, the better. Keep your twists pulled out. So I'm coming up here was the last one. I'm going to go under here and up there. And if you're working right along with me, you're going to be one more gap and then you're to the original uh, outside line that we started just a second ago. But basically, you're going to come down and up again. And that'll be the last one on that row. And now you just keep doing the same thing. All those holes around the outside and you work your way in to get the gaps covered. And this is sort of up to your discretion as to what to do. You can kind of go wherever you like and um, just keep it to where you like the way it looks. But basically just weave your excess in around the outside and you'll end up with another pattern if you do it consistently. And just get any hole you see, pull your cordage through. You want to avoid long runs. The longer the piece on the outside, the uh, more sloppy it can look. Hope you guys can see this pretty well, but I'm just finding the holes and I'm going through them under and out. And I'm working my way in towards the middle again. And uh, you'll end up with a nice consistent pouch. All right. Now, I could continue a few more gaps that I see, a couple on the sides here and whatnot, just to, to continue going around and get those all covered up. But I think you guys get the idea for the purpose of the video and what you want to do is the the piece that you have from the beginning sticking out of the top you want to end that aligned with one on the bottom so that they're at the same place and you can tie them together on the inside so that they meet so I'm going to come with this through the pouch again And like I said, I would close in a few more of these holes, but uh, let's we want to finish this video. So with uh, this one that's up here, I'm going to bring that one right underneath of it. Now, with that one coming through the bottom, you don't want to pull it too hard or it'll pull a good portion of uh, slack through and deform your bottom. But what you want to do is cut that off a little bit, the yellow, the bottom piece, because it's going to be long still. And now you have two short pieces, the yellow from the bottom and the blue is the original we started with on top. So what we're going to do is sort of push the, coat, the koozie about halfway inside out like that and tie those together. And uh, if you are worried about putting things on the inside, having a large bump on the side, you can gut these pieces like we did in the beginning 
and uh, give it a better finish. But basically you're just going to do a little double knot. Double check to make sure that you're not too tight so you're not deforming the bottom. If those knots are too tight, that's pretty good. So I'm going to sort of flip it inside out again. Pull those really nice and snug. Cut them and burn them. Okay. Now, we're almost done. I'm just going to tuck those in for now. You guys know how to cut and burn. And you've got a nice koozie. All right, that'll sit nice and flat, or a pouch if you filled in all your gaps. Now, I'm going to get the piece that I threw on the ground, that I cut off, and we're going to come through around the top to make a cinch. So we're going to use the yellows, the vertical lines going up and down, to go through. Now. I like to start over here so that this ends up in the back. The first line that we did is the only weak link even though we've tied it. We don't want that coming loose later so I don't want to be coming in and out of there with the cinch. Um, so we're going to start over here so that way we finish right next to it. So you're just going to go through there with your fid around the top row. And then you can uh, tie yourself a cinch like a Celtic button knot. Hush. Dogs are going to bark. But once you've done this, you can tie it off with a Celtic button knot. You can um, put a little cinch on there, a little plastic cinch or whatever. But what we're going to do is we're going to come to the final one and not go through this one again but stop right here like that alright guys you have a pouch here's your finished pouch or koozie you can tighten that right up if you've done things right you're gonna have a few little loose ones on top but not too many and you're going to have a nice tight bottom and nice even vertical lines and you can get as creative with this as you like you can make them really big and um, I hope you guys enjoyed if you have any questions I'd be happy to do a demo like on the Celtic button knot that I use for a cinch but uh, you're basically done there guys so thanks so much for watching please sub my channel everybody have a great day